Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a quick video on upgrading side marker lights on a Fiat 500e. Actually, this is uh, any US spec Fiat 500 from 2012 forward. Um, this this uh, VOD would work as well. Basically what we're doing here is we're updating from the amber to, which is right here, to this nice clear lens. And this has kind of a gray backing on it. it. Gives it kind of a kind of a, almost a slight smoke appearance. They actually make a smoke version of this one as well, but this is actually a clear version. But see, I think that's going to look kind of kind of cool. It's going to give it kind of a monotone kind of look to it. Because everything else on the there's no other amber on the entire car. We have side, we have clear lights here. We have clear kind of chrome and clear stuff here. So it kind of ties in with that. So I think it's going to get kind of clean up the front of the car a little bit. Now. I was going to do re, uh, clear all the way around, so in fact I actually bought clear lenses on the back, but I did not look at it more closely and I think they mislabeled it or something because although these lenses are identically clear, this one has a white backing on it, so it gives you an impression, despite the lens being clear, with one being gray and one being white, if you look at it here, you see it gives the impression that one's slightly smoke. You know, so it doesn't really match, and I really wanted them to match, and I didn't really, uh, I don't know, it's just, that's the only thing that they sold. They had clear and they had smoke, so it was like I picked clear and I figured that they would be identical, but then look, going back to the to, to the uh, eBay seller, looking at the pictures and everything, this is what they pictured. They did show it white backing on the rear one, so I don't know if I can really replace that. So... Unfortunately, look out for that kind of stuff. I guess it's kind of like FYI for if you want to do this mod yourself. Look out for stuff like that. So here's all the tools you're going to need. It's very simple. You just need a 10 millimeter wrench and one of these right angle screwdriver deals. These are very, very handy for these kind of tight conditions. I find this thing to be indispensable. So that's all you're going to need. So let's get started. Okay, getting to the front is pretty easy. There's just four screws that you have to remove. You use your little tool here. To, there's one on the bottom and there's like three. One, two, and three right here. Turn the wheel to the left when you're working on the right side and then turn it to the right when you're working on the left side. And then there you go. You got nice easy access. And there's actually a nut right here that's holding it in. And there's another one up here. And that's that's the two 10 millimeters that you're going to need to to remove. And then there's a little... You just have to push this tab in after that to pull it out. And then the actual bulb itself is real easy. All you have to do is just twist this to the left about a quarter turn gently. And then out it comes. Now, like I said, I already upgraded this bulb. So we already got the amber LED in there. So that's all ready to go. Now with both those nuts removed, all you have to do is there's basically just a little tab here you have to push on it. retains it in place and there we go that's it okay so this is how it looks compared to the old one looks looks pretty close to me it looks pretty much like a match everything looks like it lines up and everything so that's good so yep should just be able to stick this in and that's it okay here it is installed I just used a 10 millimeter socket here to just hand finger tight, finger tight it down in here. These two places right here. It's really all you got to do. It's pretty simple. As far as the part and how it aligns and how it fits and everything, it looks to fit pretty good. It's not. I don't know if it's really perfect. You know, it's you can't expect that. I don't think with any aftermarket part. But uh, this one looks pretty close. I mean, it's. Okay, so here it is with it on and everything. It looks pretty nice. I like it. You have that kind of smoke or slightly uh, gray clear lens on gray backing in the daytime. And then at night when you turn the light on it has a nice bright amber color coming out of it. It looks really nice. I like it. Okay, so here we are th a few days later. I've decided to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just install these anyway. So to get to the back lenses, we're going to use the same tools as we did in the front. It's actually very similar kind of setup here. 
though you won't have to turn the wheel you won't quite have quite as much room to work with but you do actually have more room to get underneath it from below so um there's one and then there's two and there's three screws so we're going to remove those real quickly okay, with those three screws out of the way it's basically the same as in the front there's the same type of fasteners underneath here so we're going to use our 10 millimeter wrench to get in there and remove those all right, here's a comparison of the old compared to the new. These look pretty good, like the front. They're not exactly perfect. If you look kind of close, you can kind of see that there's just a little bit. But they're really, really close, probably 99% of the way there. You can kind of see they're, they are very, very similar. These went in a little bit better than the uh, back ones. They snap in a little bit better for some reason. And also, once again, these come with the, the kit comes with red bulbs for the rears and it comes with yellow bulbs for the front. So if you are going to be sticking with the incandescent bulbs, you, you know, they come with it so you don't have to buy that separately. So it's actually a pretty good deal. $25 per, per set is actually a really good deal because, I mean, these alone are like a couple bucks, probably three bucks. Okay, so I've already done the other side, so I kind of know what to expect here, but this is actually first time on this side. So yeah, there's like a, it snaps in right here, has, like, like it does in the front, but these seem to fit a little bit better. They seem to snap in a little bit better than the other ones. There we go, so it should just snap. Ah, there we go. It's got a nice little snap right there, and now we have to put our, our nuts in right here on the plastic and then that will secure it even more okay here it is installed yeah fit and finish seems to be pretty good it's not too bad like I said it's pretty about 99% about right and I kinda like that I kinda like the white one the white backed one you know it looks I think it looks good on the white car because you see it looks kinda almost invisible I mean if you look at a, at a glance you just don't see it it doesn't stand out it doesn't have that red or amber kind of look to it. I mean, it just kind of kind of blends in pretty nicely, actually, especially at a glance. Whereas the front one does, since it is gray back, it does have a kind of a smoke appearance, even though the lens is clear. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know which is better. It would have been nice to have a match, and that's ultimately what I will do eventually. I'm not sure which one I'm going to try to get here, though. I'm, I'm not trying to just run it the way it is, and then just. Whichever one I like better is what I'll try to match it. I think the, you know, the white back one seems to be kind of closer to what this is right here. You know, this is a white back lens. And then, but the gray, I mean, the gray back one doesn't look bad either, you know, in context with everything else. It really doesn't look that bad. So, anyway, so here's what it looks like with the light on. You can see it's pretty bright. That LED is directional and it just points straight out too so it's actually without that red lens it actually makes it brighter since it's going through a clear lens so I think that looks pretty cool okay so I got four walk arounds here and um, so this is the be before give you an idea what it looks like before and this is with the uh, clear gray lens in the front and then the standard red lens in the back And this is with the gray clear lens in the front and then with the white backed clear lens in the back. So see, it looks quite a bit different. I just put it on there for show. I actually took it back off and put the red one back on in the back, at least for now. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go with. I think I, I don't know, which, which one do you guys like? I mean, leave a comment in the comments below if you like the white clear lens or the gray clear lens. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, found it useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.